Hi everyone, welcome back. I thought I'd talk today about how to feel pretty, no matter what the scenario, how to feel pretty again. Because as you know, if you're a long-standing OG of this channel, my body changed quite a bit and I look a bit different. And I purposely dress in, at the moment, like bigger clothes, like can you see? You can't really see what I look like at the moment. That's because I'm building a bit of a revenge body. There's a revenge body situation going on. And I sometimes see on social media where people say, revenge body's toxic, love yourself, love yourself the way you are. And that's okay up to a point. But the honest answer is that I was unhappy. And if you're happy in your body, that's absolutely fine and no judgment at all. And on the flip side, I don't really understand why people get so annoyed with Lizzo. Lizzo can just do whatever she wants. It, it doesn't really bother me if she's posting on Instagram. I think just do what you want to do. But for me, I wasn't happy. And I got to the stage where I'd always been confident, but I was starting to feel that I was less attractive because nothing will damage your self-esteem more than a 10 hour edit every week of your face and having to look at your face in a magnified kind of blown up version and edit your face. That was the worst thing for me, was that I wanted to speak and I wanted to be heard, but I know part of the deal in being heard is to look a certain way. And I couldn't be the outlier for this. I felt like I, I couldn't be that person how I was. So I changed and I changed for a number of reasons. But when you're on camera, we have to face that there are certain standards. And I've sadly watched, I can think of two people in this field that are doing what I am doing. And both of them have taken measures to lose weight. Because we know as women how much we are judged for how we look. And we know that it's part of the deal. I've seen a lot of influencers shrinking using either bariatric surgery or using Ozempic. And I'm not here to judge what people do. That's their call. Maybe 20 years ago, you could be a bit overweight and still find happiness. These days, if you're on an app and you're a woman, you can't afford that. You, you, can't, you generally can't afford to be overweight as a woman on a dating app. And I'm saying that to help the women out there. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you the truth. And the truth is that I lost weight due to external pressures. And we need to be honest and admit that a lot of the time, motivation does not come from within. A lot of the time, motivation comes in the form of external influences. And for me, it was how people perceived me on camera. And it was also the rejection that I faced in real life. And I think ultimately, I don't think it matters the fact of how you got to that point of change. It's the fact that you're changing that matters. For me, being rejected romantically was the biggest catalyst and the biggest wake up call that I needed. Because I feel that if maybe I, I was in a relationship and I was with someone, I would still be much bigger because I would not have had that incentive to lose weight because I would have been happy and in love. I would have still been unhealthy and I would have still been bigger. And there's nothing worse than being rejected fucking online and offline. There's like no reprieve, but it motivated me to be better. I can't stand those women that are like, I don't need makeup. I have a beautiful soul, people can see my soul, and I don't need to wear makeup, it's like, bitch please, everyone needs to make an effort. But the only way I felt pretty again was getting back to how I used to be and how I used to feel. Accepting that I'd used the pandemic as a bit of an excuse, and I'd used the excuse of people in my past not wanting me to let myself go a bit and to wallow too much in that emotion. This is gonna be controversial and I know people won't like it, but honestly, the way I felt pretty about myself was working on myself, was losing weight, was exercising, building up my body, 
working on my appearance. I haven't done it for a while, but even at one time I, I literally got my teeth whitened because you, you do not notice how much teeth whitening makes a difference of how attractive you are. And I did do that a year ago. The trouble is it's, you know, it's a lot of upkeep, keep doing it. And even now that I lose weight, I kind of feel like when I'm on camera, I can notice that my teeth are crooked at the bottom and it does annoy me because I think depending on how far I want to take this I know that I need to get my teeth fixed and that's not going to be a cheap solution maybe like Invisalign or something like that. I've kind of looked into it and I, I don't really want braces so at the moment it's fine because obviously I've got a small channel but it just shows you when you get one part of your body fixed you think oh no I need to change something else now and that's why I don't recommend plastic surgery because plastic surgery will throw off the symmetry of your whole face like if you get your nose fixed if you don't like your nose it's just going to throw the proportions of your whole face off. I don't want to bullshit you. You know I come on here and I speak the truth. And for me, feeling prettier came from the external first. It came from me changing my body first for me to feel good about inside. I don't want to bullshit you and say that I just lit a candle and did a few affirmations and I felt better about myself. It was a long, hard look in the mirror and thinking, why don't men want me? Why don't men want to go on a date with me? Why aren't men seeing that I'm a nice person? And it's because they couldn't see past the exterior. And I had to sadly realize that that's how I felt pretty again. It was conforming to beauty standards. I think it's okay if you want to be the outlier, but if you're an outlier and you're selling a lie to your subscribers and your community and you're going home at night and you're feeling deeply depressed, then that's not the right answer, is it? 